Hey guys, welcome to my How to Handyman series. What the heck is it with bees and wasps? Got stung last week, and now I've got another one in the bathroom where I'm working. I might need to sort that out before we get started. Today we would quickly go through, um, obviously working on a bathroom, I've got tiles and glue everywhere, um, but just quickly go through with you how to spread glue on the walls. I know it seems like a really simple topic, but if you get it wrong, you're likely to have tiles falling off or glue everywhere, that sort of thing. And it's actually really simple if you just follow really one or two basic rules. So, first things first. We need a notch trowel. The notch trowel for spreading the glue. Now, general rule of thumb, the bigger the tiles, the bigger the notch uh, notched trowel. So if I was doing like, if you look at our sandstone video, they were sort of 600 by 600. I was using about a 14 millimeter trowel to make sure there's lots of glue underneath. Because what we're trying to do is get a good spread of glue on the back or on the wall so that they stick on. Smaller tiles though, um, just recently done, you know, tiny little you know, 10 mil by 10 mils. You only need about a six mil trowel, otherwise you just end up with glue everywhere and you don't want that either. So um, for these, these tiles, I don't know, what's that? That's about a six mil, um, six mil trowel. I think that'll be well and truly enough to get a good spread and get them to stick to the wall. So, probably more importantly though, is getting the glue spread properly. So I know when I'm spreading glue, I like to load the trowel up, leave a bit of space each end, that way you don't get glue falling over each edge of the trowel when you spread it. Up against the wall, straight line up. Come to a little bit more glue on the trowel. Again, not too much. Straight up the wall. Now, I'll need to clear this out here because I've obviously put too much on. Now, notice that I'm actually going in a straight line up. You'll see a lot of people uh, go like this and like this. That's not the right way to do it. And why do I say that? What we're trying to do is to get the glue to stick. The reason we have the notches in is so that the glue can spread out wide and the air can escape. If you've got, and let's just maybe do it that way, if we've got a, a glue set up like this, when you press the tile onto the wall, air can escape here, but you can end up with air pockets underneath. Um, where air gets trapped. So there's no way in here, for example, for the air to get out. And you'll know when you've got the air getting out because you'll hear it as, uh, as you're doing your tiling. So you'll hear that air escape. So always, when you're doing your tiling, same for the floor, same for the wall, doesn't matter. Straight up. Straight lines. Then when you push the tile against the wall, which we will do in a second, I need a little bit more glue on here. I load my water up first. A little bit more. And if you haven't seen it already, take a look at our uh, video on how to mix glue. It'll give you the ways to get the right consistency. I've got glue on the wall, and then it's simply a matter put the tile on, press it up, and always give a little little vibration, left and right, that just spreads the glue out. And then we'll put a uh, couple of spaces in. Spacer one, spacer two. I'll go and do the next one. That's it, nothing more difficult than that. So just keep going until you've, uh, you've finished the wall. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, as always, if you've got any comments, leave them in the comment section below. We always get to back to everyone. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Good luck.